143 active players right now at 8 p.m. on Tuesday, July 12th, with a 24-hour peak of 213 concurrent players, 54% positive rating. That is the state of Bluehole's most popular MMO now that they decided to shut Terra down on PC, according to Steam. This is an MMO that cost them tens of millions of dollars, possibly more. Countless years in active development under the Ascent Infinite Realm title as a completely different game altogether, all culminating in one of the worst openings for a AAA budget free MMO, well, ever. Compare this to Bless, to Mirror 4, to PSO2 New Genesis, to Lost Ark, it's laughable. This is the spiritual successor to one of the greatest action MMOs of the last generation? Yeah, right. With the closure of Terra though, it left me thinking. A couple years ago, I did a video on a potential Terra 2 that featured leaked character models for the sequel. And that's what I want to talk about today, as Bluehole have nothing left at this juncture other than to finalize the sequel. And I guarantee they know this. Quick shout out to our patrons over on Patreon. This allows you to directly support us if you're interested. Every patron will have their name appear at the beginning of every single YouTube video, and you'll be immortalized in the MMO genre forever. Years ago, Blue Hall confirmed that they were working on two brand new MMOs titled Project W and Project DXA. Project W was confirmed to be Ascent Infinite Realm, which would then go on to become Elyon. But to date, Bluehole have still not confirmed what specifically Project EXA is. They also haven't confirmed whether or not the game is still in active development. Project EXA, however, did have several images leak from one of the 3D character artists that were working on the game at the time. The images depicted multiple different models, one a, a male and female human, which could realistically be from any game with humans as a, as a playable race, but the second was an Ellen, the same Ellen race that is found within Terra. To add further confirmation that Blue Hall were actively working on Terra 2, they had confirmed that Project EXA would be a direct sequel to one of the MMORPGs they developed. Not developed, past tense, but present tense. Actively develop. We're all aware that Terra utilizes a true action combat system, arguably one of the best in the genre, second maybe only to Black Desert Online. Project EXA was being worked on by a team comprised of programmers working on Ion, on Terra, on Arcage, which could paint a very different picture for the potential combat that could be utilized in the sequel. Although, given Air utilized a hybrid action combat system and Blue Hole opted to alter that to a full action combat system in Elyon, that might not be the case any longer. Players expressed at the time how much they disliked hybrid combat, and I don't believe Blue Hole would make the same mistake a second time. The first time they did, they delayed their game by multiple years. Project EXA is confirmed to be, or at the very least was confirmed to be, at the time, a complete next generation MMORPG, featuring a variety of new features to provide players with a brand new exciting gaming experience. Alien has been a monumental failure thus far. It was announced as a premium buy-to-play MMO, and after failing to reach any kind of audience whatsoever, Blue Hole confirmed that they would transition the game to a free-to-play business model, certain the success of their game wouldn't be possible as a premium title. Little did they know the game would be equally as large of a failure even as a free game. Within days, players had given up on the game, and bad word of mouth spread as quickly as players were capable of spreading it. Terra dropped from thousands of concurrent players to a mere hundred over the six month period of 2022, leading Blue Hole to shutter the game on PC, much to the dismay of its handful of active players. And that is where we are today. Blue Hole had created an incredible MMO, Terra. It had millions of active players at one point, and set the standard for what action combat and graphics should be. But with nothing left, what can they do to remain relevant? What can they do to remain in business? Easy, they can finish Project EXA. They never confirmed that the project was shut down. They had just refocused 
their attention, their resources on completing Elyon. And now that they have no real purpose in actively developing neither Terra nor Elyon, they can finish what remains of Project EXA, aka Terra 2. And then we can have a fully realized next generation action MMO to compete with the likes of Black Desert Online and the upcoming Throne and Liberty MMO from NCSoft. Terra 2 is happening. There's no way it is not happening. Whether it ultimately ends up being a good or a bad MMO remains to be seen, but Project EXA has been in development for seven years, and while it's been a slow, arduous road thus far, I am certain Blue Hole are finalizing the game. If not, they'll be forced to either go the mobile route or shut down their studio. Terra Mobile did horrendously, so mobile evidently is not the route to take. This is realistically all they have, and it's only a matter of time until it's here. Now, if you're looking for some good MMOs to play while waiting for Terra 2, I got a list that might be of interest to you, or alternatively, a list of gacha games, since I've honestly been having a lot of fun recently in gacha games.